Hobson's Choice, Understanding an Idiomatic Dilemma. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms, and our focus is on understanding the phrase, Hobson's Choice. This idiom has a unique history and an interesting meaning that's widely used in English conversations. So, let's unravel the mystery behind it and see how you can use it in your daily communication. The phrase, Hobson's Choice, dates back to the early 17th century. It's named after Thomas Hobson, a stable owner in Cambridge, England. Hobson had an unusual policy for renting out his horses. Renters could either take the horse nearest the stable door or none at all. This policy led to the term, Hobson's choice, which means a choice where there is only one option or no option at all. It's like saying, take it or leave it. In modern usage, Hobson's choice refers to a situation where a person is given to choose between something or nothing. It's important to understand that it's different from a dilemma or a difficult choice between two equally undesirable options. Here, there is essentially no real choice because there's only one possible course of action. Let's look at some examples to clarify how Hobson's choice is used. 1. When it came to selecting a dessert at the party, it was Hobson's choice. There was only apple pie left. 2. In the election, the voters felt it was Hobson's choice since there was only one candidate running for the position. These examples show that the phrase is used in situations where options are limited or non-existent. When you use Hobson's choice in conversation or writing, it's typically to express a lack of real options. It can be used in formal and informal contexts but is more common in British English than American English. Remember, it's always impactful to use idioms correctly and in the right context to enhance your language skills. I hope this video has shed light on the idiom, Hobson's choice, and how you can use it in your daily English. Remember, Learning idioms is not just about adding phrases to your vocabulary, it's about understanding the culture and history behind them. Keep exploring and enjoying the richness of the English language. See you in the next video.